H2K is a global uh, architecture, engineering, and planning firm. We are about 1,700 employees spread across 24 offices on three continents. Generally, we'll do everything from high-end residential towers to hospitals, airports, just about everything. H2K as a company is dedicated to delivering iconic design, beautiful spaces, and Unreal Engine gave us possibilities that we never had before. It was a bit of a process before. We actually use a multitude of softwares and none of them really talk to each other and none of them are really optimized for visualization. So I think us looking to the engine as a kind of an aggregator of all this design data from Rhino, from SketchUp, from Revit, the main applications we use allows us to kind of marry that stuff and see what's actually happening. The fundamental reason we're using Unreal is we had a limited palette of tools that we could deliver to clients, still renderings and video, and all those things took much too long to do. So we're going into Unreal and real-time environments in general to be able to deliver any kind of content, new kinds of content, in ways that we couldn't have done before. The projects actually stay in the engine throughout their entire life cycle. So Unreal allows us to kind of develop once and be able to deploy that on multiple platforms. By getting things in the engine pretty early in the design process, we see ourselves iterating more. We want to get a feel for the space. We want to understand how, how it moves, how, how people can work with it. So we get a lot of white box, just white box with glass and some really nice shadowing, and that can really tell you a lot. We are looking at much more efficient processes that allow us to develop much better quality for our clients. They don't have to be literate in spreadsheets, in technical drawings but they most definitely will understand a beautiful image and how the space will feel in the future. What initially attracted us to Unreal was it's such an open platform and they're working really hard with us to get design data across. You know, design data is messy. Um, we tend to have a lot of it. There's a lot of things behind walls that you just don't see that, that happen to come through and we tend to model everything, you know, uh, down to the donut on the plate. The downside of real-time technology was the ability of us to actually get the data that we're creating in our BIM applications or our other design applications into a game environment was, uh, was difficult to say the least. We would spend a lot of time cleaning up models, creating textures, doing UVs, things that you know, an architect simply doesn't worry about when he's uh, going to do a render. Along comes Datasmith. That's probably one of the only applications we have that can ingest all that data. A reasonably complex model would take us about three days to get it into engine. Whereas now with Datasmith, we can do it in an hour. It's become a crucial aspect of how we do our work. Having Unreal as part of our workflow has kind of made my job exciting again. The ability to get the same visual fidelity as a, as a you know, 15 hour render in you know, a fraction of a second was a huge draw for us. The reason we went in the direction of Unreal really started, I think, from visual quality. That's pretty much hands down the best environment. But after that, it's everything else that becomes available to us. The ability to easily go from our design tools, quality of environment that we can add on top of it, and in the future, all the other customizations we'll do. You know, perhaps HOK's most important task is to communicate our designs to our clients so they understand what they're getting. Unreal has given us a tool to be able to do that quickly, easily, and much more dynamically than we've ever done before.